Hey everybody, I'm Mel Dore, the Aloha Shirt Psychic. And normally it's Aloha Tuesday, but now we're on Aloha Thursday. <laughs> I've got Psychic Arthur in the house. And the reason is because Tuesday I had to go to a board meeting, B-O-R-E-D. Never be, never be a president of a townhouse board, which I am. Don't do it. Take my advice. Uh, the meeting last went longer than planned. Shocker. And then Wednesday we were going to do it, but internet issues and gremlins and all kinds of stuff. So here we are. You and fed we'll the gremlins after midnight, you bad boy. And we'll be back to regular schedule on Tuesday where we're going to start going live on Tuesday nights. Yeah. From, oh. There you go. Bless okay. Your so Arthur is yes. going to be with us a little little housekeeping um if you're interested in our chicago event in september call my office 847-590-5411 or email me www.meldorr.com -E you can use that same information for to make an appointment um and arthur is going to be our mc so before the show, we were just talking about getting his airline tickets and stuff like that. So it's going to be really amazing. So Arthur, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they do it? Well, they can find me on YouTube at Arthur Ease Your Mind or online at www.ArthurEaseYourMind.com. If they want to call... It's 310-494-5955. Here's that computer voice. <laughs> I try. All righty. So let's just cut to the chase. We've got a lot of questions that I think we can answer in an hour. What do you think? Yeah. And these are questions from Wednesday, from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we're going to get trying it all. One, all. one I want to touch on real quick. Um, Williams, I, sometimes you can't see the first names on here. They're asking about the 15-year-old autistic Sebastian Rogers. Will he be found? He's been missing from Henderson, Tennessee since February 26th. Okay, as, as a, an intuitive and psychic who has worked on a lot of missing people and murder cases, I don't go public and give predictions about cases um, because I think it's probably a bit intrusive to the family. If the family calls me, and what I would always do in these cases and still do, if the family calls me, if they tell the police about what I've said, the police then uh, talk to me or pull me in, then I won't have anything to do with the family because a lot of times a family member can be a person of, of uh, interest, not that they are in this case, all right? The other things I would take cases uh, on is that there's no charge and that I don't go to the media or go public with it. So I'm really strong about respecting the privacy of families and things like that. I will say this much, he will be found. And I'll leave it at that a lot sooner than later. So I'm not being mean about not answering your question. I just prefer not to for reasons of confidentiality and things like that. Well, it's just not appropriate for you to answer at this point. So, um, and for reason. It's a good question, but I just prefer mm -hmm. not to. Okay, so now we got another one uh jitterbug tutu I, you know what every time and i've said this a million times i just love that name okay hello auntie mel and awesome arthur may is asian pacific american heritage month that's hard to say <laughs> okay there will be parades on sixth avenue from 54th street to 45th street new york city approximate route where there'll be any terrorist action was predicted for New York City during these parades, especially on May 19th. I'm in that parade. Thank you for these collabs. You're both amazing. Jitterbug Tutu, I see you being safe. I don't see any terrorist activity on that, on that date uh, or those dates. I do think we will see some act terrorist activity in the country. And a couple of big terrorist plans that will be thwarted. They'll be found out by the FBI, CAA, and Homeland Security. It's unfortunate that terrorism happens, but um, I think it'll just coalesce everybody um, even more uh, to uh, be for President Biden. But I don't see you hurt or injured. And I'm so proud that you're marching in the Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. 
you know, the South Pacific is near and dear to my heart. So what do you think, Arthur? I think she'll be fine. I'm not seeing any terrorist attacks at all. Also, I do feel after the fact, we might find out that one or two may have been thwarted. But that's after the fact. They will be on top of everything. But I don't see anybody being injured, hurt, or harmed. I don't either. Good. Okay, Lisa said she was just recently diagnosed with MS, and I'm not a doctor, and she's asking about a cure or for um, uh, finally getting to a better place. I don't know if there's a cure, but I see a lot more effective treatment modalities coming, specifically with monoclonal antibodies and maybe giving yourself an injection every week to two weeks. And I don't know if it's on the market yet, but it will be. And it's not going to cure the disease, but it'll certainly certainly keep it at bay. I don't know a, a lot about MS, but I know it can affect mood. It can make you depressed. Mm -hmm. And it's certainly depressing to have any kind of disease. But I don't think it's going to be as incapacitating for you as you're anticipating it to be. Um, and I think if people in your family are, you know, for political reasons, that don't believe the same way you do, you want to keep stress at bay because that can exacerbate symptoms of MS and just tell them that right now you demand and your health demands that you just don't talk about politics with them. And spirit tells me you're going to hold your own ground and you're going to do very well with it. And at some point help other people who have newly been diagnosed with MS. I'm sorry you're going through this, but I still I still see you staying active and alert. What do you think, Arthur? I agree. Um, I have family members that were diagnosed with MS and also my Steve Gravis. Um, that was years and years ago. If they had been around today, there'd been a lot of different ways to, you know, not necessarily cure it, but to work with it. And I still see that that's an ongoing thing and process. And I feel over the next four or five years, I do feel a lot of medicine is going to, they're looking at things differently, you know, and I really feel the approach, the approach will be a lot different and it'll be helpful. So, but I do feel as far as Lisa's concerned, I feel there's things can ease up around her. In, in a couple in a number of years, I feel there's like more things coming coming out. Okay, I can't pronounce this name. Ran Na Willow Taro, I think Willow Taro Na Willow Taro. Okay, hello. Does Jennifer McCormick have a chance of winning the governor's race in Indiana? Thank you. What do you think? I'm a little tossed on this one because at one point she was a Republican. Now she's running as a Democrat. However, she, I don't think she's really campaigning as much as she should be doing. So I'm going to, it's a toss up for me. I, unfortunately, I do feel like the, the what's his name? Bomb, I think it is. Who's running for governor uh, as Republican. I think he may get it because unfortunately, Indiana is a very, very red state. Well, my yeah. feeling is she, if she goes out and knocks on doors, she could get it, but she's going to have to, I'm, my light's out, of, my light is acting crazy here. Um, if she goes out and knocks on doors, my feeling is, is that um, she's got a chance of winning, but she's going to have to campaign a lot harder, a lot harder. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling disappointment with it for her, but that's in her hands. She really has right. to campaign. I would like to see her win, of course, but you know, We'll see. I feel eventually Indiana will go purple. So do I. I see that as well. I just wonder how, not that it matters, how Democrat she really is. I think she's more of an old order Republican, which would be better than a MAGA, you know? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I do see the MAGA movement at some point ending. Okay, I'm going to ask this one, then I'll let you ask some, okay? Okay. All right. Will Clarence Thomas be removed from the Supreme Court? The only way that they can remove him would be to impeach him. Now, impeach just means to bring to trial. Um, 
I think the House does the articles of impeachment, then it goes to the Senate, and the Senate brings them to trial, and then the Senate decides, and I think it has to be like a 60% vote, I think. I forget how many it has to be. Yes, um, and my guides have told me that there's going to be two Supreme Court justices impeached because of this whole thing with the immunity, because my guides told me that you know, Trump, some of Trump's lawyers talked to these justices, at least three of them, even before they heard the case. And there's going to be some law clerks that are going to come out and say that. So because of that, it's, I guess, grounds for impeachment, I would think. So I see two being impeached, I think, as a result, one will resign, and I see the other one gone as well. So the only way they can remove him is to impeach him and found and found guilty. But I do see him off the court a lot sooner than later. Now, this is all for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> what do you think, Arthur? Well, for the last two years, I've been predicting, I thought it was going to be last October, but I do still believe it's this October that Clarence Thomas steps down. I feel they may say it's because of health reasons for, you know, to put on the books, but I feel it's a lot of the other stuff that's going to be hitting the fan behind the scenes and other stuff that's going to be hitting his family with his wife and other things. So I believe he's going to step down. Then I do believe the whole makeup of the court is going to, is definitely changing. In fact, AOC is trying to, you know, get a thing going. Now, what is AOC? Um, What's her name? The uh, Cortez, the in New York. What's her name? She's a House member. I'm sorry. I'm 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 having a senior moment. AOC. It's a person. It's a per AOC. Um, Cortez. Oh, go okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. It's okay. We're both having a senior moment at the same time. I just yeah. don't. Sometimes if they you'd use the little abbreviations, my mind doesn't click and I don't get them. Oh, I'm using it. I, I forget her name. That's why I'm using it. Okay. But, um, Sorry, people. Um, but no, I really feel that um, the makeup of the court is going to change. In fact, there is a question here from your alter ego, Odd Girl Scout, <laughs> that says, Aloha, Auntie Mel and Awesome Arthur. I've been wondering about the future makeup of the Supreme Court. Will there ever be a trans person on the court? Do you have any hits and possible nominees? Um, and she lists a bunch of names. Uh, thank you. Well, I see I, a gay person on the court. Um, I don't know about trans. There already have been gay people on the court. They just know it. Well, now there's going to be gay people outwardly gay on the court. Yeah. Um, and I do see term limits for the Supreme Court, and I do see legislation passed that they can't take these gifts, which are really payoffs for a lot of people to get laws passed that they want. Um, and, you know, and I don't know how they would pass legislation, but to say that the this tribalism has got to end, whether they're Democrat or Republican. Right. It shouldn't, politics shouldn't come into play. It should be really based on the merits and argument of the case. But and there's already a bill in the works to add four more Supreme Court justices. If well, they just started it. I and see. I've always said in five years, we're going to have 13 because we have 13 courts. We have to have 13 Supreme Court justices to oversee each court. I see um, the court coming back to center. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I see Roe v. Wade at some point upheld mm -hmm. and i see um gay marriage codified i think alito is already oh one of the justices is already it already is it already is codified one of the justices is already talking about picking on gay marriage and they should reconsider it and they better leave it alone that was clarence thomas because no it was another one too so what happens to those of us who are married are we not married i mean i don't know but um well that's what happened in california when people were married and then they put Prop 8 through, and the way it was worded, yes meant no, no meant yes, and it screwed everything up. <clears throat> so for a while, there were gay couples that were married, but nobody else was able to get married. And so then it all switched over. It was confusing for a lot of people. Marry us, you know, once we're married legally. So 
um, they're not going to be successful. But, you know, chipping away at women's rights, now they're chipping away at gay rights. And, and, and trans rights. Trans rights. And I see, you know, with a different court, uh, a lot of that changing. Um, don't even get me started on what SCOTUS did with this immunity thing. We'll be here all day. But uh, anyway, it's limited immunity. They'll, they'll remand it back down to the lower court. And the reason they'll do that is because then, you know, Judge Chuck can all have to hear all these arguments again, what's presidential, what's not, then Trump will appeal it, it'll go to the Supreme Court, they don't meet again until October, it'll take them two or three months to make a decision, and that's going to be after the election, and Trump thinks he's going to win, and he won't, period. <laughs> and, as all that said, that paragraph. <laughs> and as I've always said, you have to be alive to be a president, entertainment Ooh. purposes only. Oh. Okay, I'll take that. All right. Well, here I mean, I have to um one question from Nancy was Aloha Mel and Arthur. What do you see the 45th doing after he loses the election? Does he have a plan of some kind? I I said scratching his way out of the coffin. <laughs> I'm sorry. That one. Uh, I do think he needs to watch his health. I really do. And I don't wish him harm. I really don't wish anybody harm. But I do think he needs to watch his health. I don't think he's taking care of it. I mean, I, I see him when he walks out of court and he I didn't see anything on TV today because I was just really busy and our internet was out and all kinds of stuff. But he looks really bad. I mean, his, almost jaundice. He does. His color doesn't look good. He looks tired. He looks drawn. Um, all righty. This is a good one. Spirits JD says, hello, Arthur and Mel. Will the youth, in spite of all the protests going on in these universities, turn out and vote for Biden? The answer is yes. A lot can happen between now and the election. Uh, or do you see this being a problem and concern during the election? I don't see it that way. I see um, even the Israeli people, many of them in Israel, protesting against Netanyahu. I'm pro-Israel. I don't like Netanyahu. He's their version of Trump. And he's going to be held for war crimes because of what he's doing now in the Gaza Strip. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Hamas, what they did was horrible. We know it was backed by Iran and by Russia. But okay, he's taken out Hamas now. And now it's time to say, okay, leave the innocent people alone. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, well, I mean, they cleared out UCLA this morning in the middle, like around 3 a.m., and they're finding out that a lot of the people they were talking that were they were moving, they weren't students. They're instigators. Right. And I do feel there's a lot of propaganda out there from our Mr. Putin and others that are just egging this on. I would be surprised if Steve Bannon isn't part of it as well. And a lot of you're right, a lot of this has started to make a mis for, for mis President Biden to yeah. take votes away from him. But it will not work. Correct. Right. Uh, I mean, they have to decide what they, you know, some, I think what they're trying to do is just get them not to vote, but you have to decide, okay, if you don't vote, then who is that a vote for? And do they really want to live in a world where, you know, a, a president that would, wouldn't do anything to Putin, let Putin do what Putin wants? And somebody who says that they want to be an authoritarian in this country, I don't think they'd like that very much. No. No, I don't think so either. Anyway. All righty. Um, okay. Aloha, Arthur and Mel. This is a good one. Do you see Hunter Biden taking that certain news network to court? <clears throat> um, uh, or will that certain network... <laughs> acquiesce and comply with the stipulation that Hunter's lawyers put forth in their letter. I know the answer already, but go ahead. I want to hear what you have to say. Too much, too little, too late. He's suing. He's going to win. Then he goes after Marty Taylor Green. Bingo. Bingo. Um, and I see a lot more lawsuits coming against that network. And we're talking huge sums of money. Right. Try to drag out. And they'll want to make an out-of-court settlement. And at some point, I don't know if it's Hunter Biden, other people are going to go, no, 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 no. You have to pay us. And they're going to say they don't have the money and try, try some legal loopholes. And the courts are going to say, nope, you got to pay. Well, just give him Sean Hannity's paycheck. That's all. 
Well, it's going to cost them a lot more than Sean Hannity's paycheck. Oh, I know, but part of it. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Your turn, Arthur. Um, let's see here. From Angelic Alchemy. I love her name. I like that. Aloha Dynamic Duo. <laughs> Has Christy Noe's political future been destroyed by her book detailing how she dealt with her 14-month-old dog? As an animal lover, I am appalled and hope that karma pays her a visit. Love and blessings. Well, bless your heart. Not her, the one that asked the question. Bless your heart to know him. We know what that means in the South, where I come from. <laughs> I, I mean, thought it was bless your pee picking heart. You know, like Tennessee Army Ford. Yeah. Um, number one, the dog she had is a high prey driven dog. And it sounds to me like the dog had not been trained at all. I'm a dog trainer. And it's, it's my passion. And the fact that uh, she, you know, says so she took the dog on a hunt and then it got to the neighbor's chickens. It made it sound like she was right there. Well, then why the hell didn't you stop the dog when it was attacking the chicken? And then she said she did and the dog tried to bite her. Well, it depends on what she was doing to the dog. I mean, I think she was being mean to the dog. And if you're mean with a dog, it's going to try to defend itself. Uh and then she killed a goat because it was smelly and old. And she said it had buttered her kids. Well, goats do that. And then put down three horses because they were old. Here's what I see. And then she tried to normalize it by saying, right. well, it's life on a farm and life is harsh. But, you know, I can make hard decisions like that. And, and as a politician, yeah. I don't make hard decisions. Excuse me. I don't see how killing an innocent dog by shooting it in the face with a shotgun is comparable to making responsible decisions as a politician because her decision to kill the dog was totally cruel and irresponsible. So here's what I'm telling people. Find out how much the book cost. Don't buy it, boycott it, and take that money and donate it to the American Humane Society. Mm -hmm. Or... Take a collection and take a front page ad in one of the papers in her state and say, This woman is an animal killer. Her political, you know, for her to try to normalize that sort of behavior is just so sociopathic. It's just cruel. Mm -hmm. And she's going to have to pay the piper for that in a lot of ways. So my guides tell me she's karmically yeah. she's hot one. <laughs> she shot herself in the foot. Um, I'm just glad she's not in charge of any like nursing homes or anything like that. Feel sorry for her kids if she got mad at them. <laughs> well, maybe she called Lone Bobar what to do. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All righty. Go ahead, Arthur. Here's, Here's one from Sue Smith. When the West 4B movement in Korea reaches the U.S., will it impact women's rights big time? This is brilliant. Actually, what this what it's a feminist movement started in 2019 where it's like we're not getting men we're not having children we're just living our lives i see i don't see it going to the extreme like that but i mean it's an interesting concept but i really feel women here have a little thing called roe v wade that is going to mobilize them more so than west 4b movement does well, but I think they'll take pieces of that. Yeah. It's going to be a huge increase in the feminist movement here. And women saying, you know what? You want us to get pregnant and have kids, and then we can't control our own bodies? We're not going to get pregnant. Guess what? Um, what are you going to do, guys? You know? So we ain't seen nothing yet with the feminist movement. It's going to grow exponentially mm -hmm. all over the world. Um, and, it, you know, my guides keep telling me with Trump, the women will bring him down. And that's what's going on. The women are hopping mad in these states like Arizona and reinstated a law from 1860s. Give me a break. Before it was even a state, before women had the right to vote. Exactly. They want to take us back. I mean, there's going to there's some politicians who don't even want women to vote. I know. Like What? Um, and it just gets more ridiculous and ridiculous. And when they make and these are the people that want to teach in school. And when they make statements like that, they're so outlandish. But like Trump, they keep or the magas, they keep making those same sorts of statements. And if you hear it enough, it seems almost normalized, even though it's not. 
And then they end up scoring one little point and then another point and another point until it becomes a big score. We cannot normalize abnormal behavior and statements like that. We can't. Right. Exactly. And, and it goes back to everything that the orange menace says, trying to normalize everything he does. You know, it, it's, it's nuts. Right. But here's a good question from Mary Williamson. Does the Ark of the Covenant really exist still as described in the Bible somewhere on this earth? I don't believe so. I think it's in Steven Spielberg's garage. <laughs> I think the Ark of the Covenant has been Hollywoodized to have these mystical, magical things. Sure. Uh, right. And so um, I don't see it. I mean, it's a great romance story, meaning... Wow, and you know, a great adventure story. And now some please everybody don't give me emails and text about right. the, the covenant. You know, I, I don't want to go down there, but well, but, I've already said I know I think I think if we just pay attention to what the Ten Commandments tell us, yes, it will be a much, much nicer world. <laughs> yes. Your turn. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Um, Ellen Z says, I had a terrible car accident years ago, hit by a huge truck. I was stopped at a stop sign. Truck was going 55 miles per hour. I was in a Honda Civic. My car was airlifted across four lanes. Wow. While in air, I heard in my right ear a calm, deep male voice say, okay, when you hit the ground, turn your wheel to the left so you don't hit the pole. It was a telephone pole. I listen, I listen. The fire department said I missed the pole by seven inches. My foot was broken and three discs, but I'm alive and healed well. Who was the man who spoke to me? Thank you. That man was a spirit guide or a guardian angel. I use the terms interchangeably. I was going to say, I kept on getting Michael around her. Well, that's what I picked up too. So Archangel Michael. So, all right, go ahead. Um, let's see. A lot of the, a lot of the questions are repeating, so that's why I'm, I keep on reading over and over. Um, I've got one while you're thinking. Sue Todd says, if for some reason 45 can't run in the general election this year, who will the Republican candidate be? I don't know. You know, I haven't really thought about it. Uh, you know, Nikki. Day, would be I, I, I was oh. saying Nikki Haley. From day the one, the Republicans want her. You know, if they had been smart, she's got delegates. If they if, she, if if they had been smart, they would have put her as the as the presumptive nominee. Because I want to tell you something, she could have very easily beat Biden in a presidential race. I mean, I'm not about Nikki Haley. I'm not about her politics. I'm simply making a statement. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't think they were too smart about it. <laughs> well, the fact that though the <laughs> Abortion is on the ticket, though, now. It ain't going to happen. But I, I, I always saw Nikki Haley. I, I said Nikki Haley from, like, a year ago that if Trump is not crossing the finish line, that she would have delegates and get in there. The abortion thing is they're just pandering to the, and the, the super ultra-right wing. You know, I mean, there are people, you know, who are Democrats who, who don't believe in abortion. And I, I just, you know... I'm not fond of it either, but, and please don't send me a lot of emails and stuff, but I believe in the woman's right to choose. And, my, and my belief in a woman's right to choose outweighs all the other stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, these people, and I don't want emails on this one either, but people that say the Bible, the Bible, the Bible, well, and then they use Leviticus, like shopping cart. In Leviticus, it says, if a woman has an affair with a man and gets pregnant, they have to get rid of the baby. And it also says if you have an affair with somebody, you have to be stoned and this and that. That is the well, old, most people is, I know that are having affairs are stoned to have them. That, that, is, is, that is Old Testament. So if they're going to take it verbatim, then bring all that in. Mm -hmm. Right? According to Christianity, when Christ came, the Old Testament went away and the New Testament kind of did away with all of that. Love thy neighbor as they love thyself. They don't get to quote the old testament stuff mm. if you're going to be a christian then you go with what the new testament says 
And if you've gone to Red Lobster, you're going to hell. <laughs> so anyway, here's a good one from Sven Vanska. Hello from Sizzling Berlin, Germany. Du bist wie einen Blume. Uh, love you both. Will Trump be thrown in jail for real when he violates the gag order again? I do see him being put in a cell. Uh, and I see him at some point even under house arrest. And if he keeps violating the gag order, the judge will even say he has to watch from a cell or a, or a courtroom with a video camera so that he can't do what he's doing. You know, he says it's his his right to free speech. Right to free speech does not give you the right to intimidate jurors or witnesses or do what he's doing. And the court can tell you, they have the right to tell you that you cannot, uh, you know, talk right. all kind of crap in order to try to influence the outcome of a case. The judge has warned him. Right. And he said, I'm, and even the prosecutor said, we don't want to take him to jail yet. Now, this morning they had four more. He already had $9,000 put against him. They had four more. Judge Mershon's going to, you know, talk about that next week. But I do know that what I can pick up psychically and what I've read is that Mishan has already talked to the Secret Service. Oh, yeah. The secret, I picked up psychically from my guides that Secret that Service. They're going to have to be with him. That the Secret Service is already planning if he goes to jail, they're going to be with him. Yeah. So I see this judge is not going to put up with any nonsense. He's mm -hmm. going to keep breaking the gag order. I think Trump wants to go to jail so he can politicize that. Oh, yeah, they sent me to jail. Oh, and I did this for you and the, the free speech and blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, I did this for you. Send me money because I don't have money. And what will happen if people send him money? He send me your disability check. You can't afford it, but send me your disability check, please. He's going to use it for what he says. And I see the court coming in saying, if people are going to send you money, you cannot do that. You cannot have people send you money because you were in contempt of court. And they can either make him return the money or, or fine him, but the court's going to step in and say he can't do that. That's kind of like the um, Son of Sam law, where you can't profit writing a book for a crime that you've committed. Correct. Correct. That's exactly how I see it. Yeah. All right. I'm glad we're on the same page on that one. All right. Is it your turn or my turn? Uh. Okay, let me just touch on something real, real quick. Sure. Donna Hensley says, Hi, Auntie Mel and Awesome Arthur. Do you see outside bad actors sent in to agitate the peaceful protests at colleges just like they did at BLM? I don't know what BLM is, but the, oh, Black Lives Matter. The mm -hmm. answer is yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've talked about that. I have a feeling it's Putin trying to make trouble for Biden. Yes, we've already we talked about, about that. that. Yeah. However, Mike Johnson went to Mar-a-Lago to meet with Trump. Then he started speaking out against college protesters and saying Biden should send in the National Guard. Well, if if Mike Johnson said that Biden should call in the National Guard, he better go back to political school because I don't think the president sends out the National Guard. The state governors do that. Yes. And there's a little thing called Kent State, which I don't think they want to repeat. I lived through that. I mean, I was in... I think it was in 1969 or 1970. Mm -hmm. I was in ninth grade, I think. And they opened fire on the protesters and it was a massacre. And, you know, I was a child of the 60s and 70s. You know, I believed in in peaceful protest, peaceful mm -hmm. protest. That's our right under the Constitution. And so when, when you know, uh, Preacher, Preacher Johnson says the National Guard, I think the governors do that. Um, and if Biden brought in the military, oh my goodness, you know, <laughs> now Trump would, Trump wanted to bring in the military, military to kill the people, the Black Lives Matters people. And his, and his generals and his people said no, because Trump was like, shoot them all. Well, he wanted them, he, yeah, and, and during the, when they did the smoke out and got everybody cleared the, in Washington, where he held his little Bible upside down, they said, can we shoot them in the leg? Right, right. No. Um, okay. Um, seems to be a planned situation for 
violence. Abbots, Abinson in the guard, and they seem very overly vicious. Thank you. Um, you know, it can if they do that, it can make matters worse. You know, let people have the right to peacefully protest as long as they're not interfering on the rights of others or are stepping on the rights of others. You know, it's they don't have the right to, you know, try to close down the school or destroy things. But I agree that there are agitators being brought in. Oh, yeah. like, all right. <laughs> um, I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I'm just going to. The question is: So, MTG, my tragic girlfriend, Little Cloven Hooves, says you, she will. You mean break the ball? You mean uh, the one who the fashion police has issued a warrant for her? <laughs> well, obviously, she has no gay friends. The way she dresses. Well, so, you. MTG she says, or, or not a gay hairstyle is horrible. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I had to interrupt. Go ahead. That's all right. I interrupt you all the time too. So, because we love each other, we can interrupt each other. So don't write us about it. So MTG says she will force a vote to oust Speaker Mike. If Dems vote to keep him, will Marge revert to underhanded methods like throwing open the doors to Mike's closet and dragging out a few skeletons? You well, guys she, are together. She can try to drag out skeletons on him, but he, I'm sure the people have a lot on her too. You know, that goes both ways. Um she is going to try to uh, to make a move to get him. Uh, else. Well, I look, I, I've said this many, many times that 10 minutes after his name was announced. That he was going to be the speaker, I put up on my community page and May out scandals. Well, I don't, I don't see him lasting. You know, she's going to uh, try to get him unseated. Mm -hmm. but she's only got three people, her and two others. That'll go for it. And she might get a few more, but I think the House Republicans would say absolutely not. And a lot of them would side with the Dems that I don't think at this point the Dems want him taken out because even though they don't like him, they can still negotiate with him. Yeah. You know, at least the one good thing that he did was allow Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine to get some money, which they sorely needed. You know, I don't think there would be enough votes to put uh, Jeffries in right now. But at some point, much, much sooner than later, after the election, the Dems take over the House. I'm telling you, Jeffries will be the Speaker of the House. Mm -hmm. Now, at that point, the Marjorie Taylor Greens will make all kinds of motion till the cows come home to get him unseated. But guess what? It's like she's going to be walking headfirst into a hurricane. She's not going to get anywhere. <laughs> Can we just be a buzz? She might have a lot of Republicans that would vote. Now, you heard about McCarthy. He did an interview recently where he was talking about why Matt Gates had him ousted. He said Matt Gates came to him and said there was an ethics committee after him and could he like steer it the other way? And he said, you went to you know, you was a 17 year old. It's against the law. And he wouldn't do it. And so that's why Matt Gates went after him. Well, but that's all the committee is still all, going after him. Mike Gates, Matt Gates is still not out of the woods, nor is Marjorie. Oh, no, 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 not at all. So, you know, I'm thinking when Jeffries is speaker, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene will try her little shenanigans to get him unseated and all this, but it won't work. She might get a lot of some Republicans but it won't work. I just see the Republican Party going through a tremendous transformation uh, and more centered on individual rights like they say they're supposed to be. And I see an end to this MAGA movement at some point. I really do. Well, I mean, it, remember the Tea Party? Well, that led to the MAGAs. Yeah. But, but I mean, now they're talking about in red states, it'll be okay if a woman is pregnant. To follow how how long her gestation period has been through her pregnancy. I'm I mean, sorry. It's oh, just right. Nuts. That's not going to work. No, it, you know, and I can't believe women, MAGA women, let this slide. They don't know what they're voting for. They don't know what's out there. Well, at so. some point, it's going to. It's it, they're not going to win. So, mm -hmm. but I see a huge um, overhaul of the Republican Party for the better. You know, oh, yeah. Um, okay. Donna Hensley said 
Missouri has gotten enough signatures to put abortion on the ballot, but the legislators are trying to change the law to make it more difficult to change the sta our state constitution. Will the voters be able to reinstate and codify Roe v. Wade? The answer is yes, because what they're going to do is get rid of those ultra right wing MAGAs and vote people in, whether they're Republican or Democrat, that have some sense about letting women decide, make their own choice. <laughs> right. So see what's going to happen with abortion. There's term limits on it. Right. So the states are going to say, okay, after, let's say, maybe 12 weeks, eight weeks, then you can't, you know, you can't abort. Um, but as far as these draconian laws, like trying to jail women, if it endangers their health or if they're raped or incest and they go to another state, they come back, they can be arrested. That's not going to hold up. No. And some of those states will try to make, a, um, uh, use those women as an example. But at some point, cases like that are going to go to the Supreme Court. And that's when, what's going to reinstate Roe v. Wade. That's what I see. <laughs> what do you think, Arthur? Well, there's a lot going on underneath the surface here. But when you were reading that, like you get your light bulb, I'm getting Manny, Mo, and Jack yelling, the people win. The people win. Okay. Good. Absolutely. I okay. see that into this American apartheid, this small group of people, this tiny group, trying to force their beliefs down the rest of us throat. You know, it's, it's right now it's, it seems as if they're winning, but they won't, you know, mm -hmm. um, I'm all about individual rights. Uh, and I see a return to that. Yeah. I mean, they're just so our way or the highway or you're a heathen, but even the Christianity that they're preaching is not from the Bible. I know. Or what I was taught in school, in Catholic school, whatever. It's just unheard of. Kathy P. asks a question. Will Senator Grassley of Iowa be elected for another term? He's been si showing signs of senility. And it's to the point where we Iowans joke about days where he's forgotten his meds. Thank you. I know that I've done that. Thank you for all that you do. Do. Yeah. I'm sorry. What was the question again? Is Grassley going to be reelected? I'm sorry. Will Grassley of Iowa be reelected? I don't think so. I don't get it either. I'll feel it. Okay. So yeah. long. Farewell. Go ahead. No, I was just saying. I was just saying. So long. Farewell. I'll be saying goodbye. Okay. Um. Aloha, cacao. Uh, Paolo, mahalo for your fun yet highly calm insights. Thank you, Catherine. Oh, Paul. May I ask? May I ask? Russians have been making inroads into more Ukraine territory as Ukraine hasn't received the jets and support system needed to really win. When will Ukraine get the much needed jet support systems and ammo to truly help them make the target defense and offense? Also, will Ukraine will Ukraine? keep it to truly minimal collateral damage in Russia. Malama Pono. Uh, Malama Pono means please take care of the most sincere manner. It means to nurture yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, yeah, Russia was making inroads in, in Ukraine. But I think within the next couple months, um, Ukraine's going to get a lot more of the weapons they need um, and able to purchase more of the weapons they need to start pushing Russia back. And they will. Um, the Ukrainians will not stop fighting. Mm -hmm. I'm glad they got the aid because if they wouldn't have, they could have very well lost that war, but they're not going to lose. My guides assure me that. And I see them purchasing uh, aircraft and things like that. And so they're going to start using them. So, And at the end of the day, I've always seen Ukraine become part of NATO. Yes, absolutely. But in, in, I was going eight, last year I was saying 18 months to two years. I'm still feeling within two years. Well, I see, I see, you know, Ukraine getting Crimea back and a lot of the ports and territories that, that, you know, Putin took, um, you know, Putin is like, what's mine is mine and what yours is mine. And if I want it, I can take it. You're not supposed to do anything. Almost like Donald Trump. Uh, but he's not going to succeed in this. People in Russia are, are going to start protesting huge. I'm telling you. All yeah. over. My guides tell me that anyway. All right. We got time for just about two more, right? 
Donna D, do you see Scott Perry from Pennsylvania winning? He's part of the insurrection. I don't see him winning. I don't either. I see Pennsylvania staying blue. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm being blue. <laughs> okay, Kitan, I think. Oh, hey, fellas, I was wondering what you are seeing in terms of workers and unionization efforts mm -hmm. in the USA, especially with the recent win of a Volkswagen plant in, in the south of Tennessee. I saw an interview with the worker from there who basically said he changed his mind and was trashing Trump. Are workers' minds changing and going to go back to voting Democrat? The Dems used to be the party, the unions, and the worker until recently. Do you see that coming back? Um, thank you for all you do. I enjoy watching both of your channels. Well, the Dems, I think, still are, are pro-union. I mean, Biden was the first president sitting on picket line with the unions. Absolutely. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I see you. I don't know what the thing was in Tennessee. I don't. They, I don't they, Volkswagen fought to, to become part of a unionized, to unionize. Oh, and they won, right? Yeah. Okay, so I do see a comeback of labor unions, but the labor unions are going to have to stop, like taking employees' money and not working. Anything in return. Not, I'm not working for the employee. Yeah. Uh, you know, I remember growing up in the South, and my mother works in a textile a textile mill, and it wasn't union, and the conditions were deplorable. And then unions came in and really cleaned up the textile mill. And so, you know, unions in the day did a great job. And I see them starting to do an excellent job for their employees again. So um, I see workers really starting to say, yeah, we want unions. We don't want to work for slave labor. We want to work 40 hours a week. We want to get overtime. We want to get duly paid for what right. we do. That's what I see coming. When I was in high school, one of my jobs, I was a checker at AMP. Oh, I remember EMP. Atlantic and Pacific. But this was before the scanners. <laughs> I never knew what AMP stood for. I never Atlantic knew. and Pacific Tea Company. Wow. So I had to join the union. They had a strike. I was the last one in, first one out. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the checker. They didn't have scanners. They had to press it in. On oh, and, and the baby food was like, you know, 35 cents. Gee, gee, gee. It was like nuts. But every hey. little I liked, this is why I'm good at Tetris because I was a really good bagger. I, people love to get in my line because I they'd always go home and say, I know where everything is. Thank you. Well, um, they you did know. paper bags. I always ask for paper bags. Still, they don't know how to bag. Uh, Trader Joe's does though. But no, uh, it's like there's the eggs, now the canned goods, now the bread, I, more canned I, goods. Yeah. I just remember those cash register. Oh my God. It was. You know, yeah. and I was the fast one, and they said, you know, I remember the manager came up and said, you're so fast as how, I said, because I'm a pianist. <laughs> I practice eight hours a day, so I should be able to use my fingers. Oh, Lone Phantom says, is Biden going to find the spine to take drastic action against corrupt scotus? Well, number one, Biden does have a spine. He's done more for this country than any president since 1963. I don't think he wants to rattle the cage yet because it's really good for him politically to say, here's what these Trump appointees did for the on the court. Once he's reelected, I see him adding more justices on the court and I see the court coming back to center like we talked about earlier. Right. Well, he's also Scorpio, so he does a lot of things unseen. You don't know about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he hasn't taken out a stinger yet, but when he does, look out. Right. Um, That's really about it. For, uh, one last one would be, how is Peter Navarro doing? Not so well. How's who? Peter Navarro. Oh, not very good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you look good in stripes. So right. I, but <laughs> different kind. Okay, Voices from the Swamp. Hey, Sherry, Voices from the Swamp. She says, aloha to my two favorite gentlemen. Thanks, Sherry. That's really oh, sweet. She does it to everybody. She's a sweetie. Okay, question. Do you see the attorney generals who signed on to Trump stop the steel BS back in 2021 ever being held responsible for fraud, even though they knew it was all BS? Well, number one, I see them being held responsible, but they you have to prove that they lied and they knew they lied. 
Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if that's criminal, but yet if they used it to try to change the outcome of the election, and if they knew it was BS, then there could be some mm -hmm. responsibility for that legal. Uh, but it's not going to bode well for them politically, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> An attorney general should know better. Yeah. So, anyway. That's what I got. Speaking of such, I see Paxson being in real trouble down in uh, down in Texas. Thank God. All right. So next week we will be on your channel, hopefully live, hopefully. as opposed to dead. Um, you know, I can set it up if you want. We can. No, start. I'm I'm just teasing you. We can do it. Uh, but anyway, uh, and then you can then you can ask your questions live. Anyway, all right. So Arthur. Yes. If they get a hold of you. How do they do it? On YouTube, go to Arthur Ease Your Mind. On the web, it's www.arthur, A R T H U R, Ease, E A S E, your, Y O U R, mind, M I N D.com. Arthur Ease Your Mind.com. And if you want to call me, it's 310 494 5955. However, if you call and say, I have a question, I'll say make an appointment. <laughs> Me too. How about oh, you? Uh, Mel, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mel Dor. You know your name. Uh, he knows his name. We're very happy. Yay. <laughs> Meldor.com. M E L D O E R R.com. 847 590 5411. And everybody hit that little bell down there because it'll let you know when we're going to do stuff. Also, hit the subscribe button. Um, you'll see like uh, a little picture of my dog there. And if you hover over that, it'll say subscribe and you click, or there's a little subscribe button. Do the same with Arthur. He doesn't have a little dog down there. I think you got your signature down there, if I'm not mistaken. I, I for, I, for a while there, I had a magic eight ball. There you go. Now it just says subscribe. And thumbs up. Yay. And, and I'm, taking comment. Your, I'm taking membership. So you hit the join button. And there's different pictures of that, and so is Arthur. So having said all that, until next week, next Aloha Tuesday, which will be on Tuesday next week. <laughs> Unless there's a tsunami of some sort or the gremlins get fed again by Mel. If the rivers don't flood and the cranks don't rise. <laughs> Aloha. I have fun with you, Mel. Thank you. You're welcome. Everybody else does. All right. All right.